Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. If you wanted to know how to decase your DJI 03, we're gonna do a tutorial today. You guys asked for it, so here it is. Let's go ahead and get started. And before you start this tutorial, make sure you have a nice workspace so you don't drop any super small M1 screws, as well as a super tiny screwdriver for this job. Let's go ahead and get started with step number one. So the first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove this back plate and um, make sure you have the right screwdriver there and go ahead and remove these two first bolts. These are on the back of the DJI unit and these just simply hold down your UFL connectors for your dipole antennas. We also got two brand new antennas in the box as well with this kit. So that's kind of cool. We're also going to decase the camera. Once these two screws are pulled out, set those to the side. We're going to make a little pile here and we're going to start to remove some of these pieces. You can go ahead and use your fingers to pop off these UFL connectors and set those to the side. Next step, what we want to do is make sure we remove these two top screws right here. And we're going to take this baby slam apart. So we're just going to go ahead and keep working that screw out. Set that to the side in the same pile. I'm going to save all these original pieces of hardware in case you decide to put your uh, protector back on your DJI 03. So this last screw was kind of a pain. It was really Loctite in there. I had to put a lot of pressure on this one to get this one out. And again, make sure your screwdriver is nice and flat when you're unscrewing these screws. And it should just come on out. Set that in the same pile. Now we're going to pull off this top plate here. And this separates the two stacks between the VTX and the DVR. So the next thing we want to do is pull off this top plate. We're going to separate it there. And there's a little bit of thermal paste there. Don't worry about that. Just go ahead and set this top plate to the side. And we can take a paper towel or something and just wipe a little bit of this off to clean it up if you want to. And now we're going to remove this bottom piece as well. Go ahead and grab your screwdriver and start unscrewing these screws. And this will allow this bottom DVR to be able to be pulled off the bottom plate. So just take your time, don't force anything. Most of these screws should be relatively easy to pull off. So you guys can see there. Okay. These screws are a little bit thicker than the ones we pulled off the top. And there's only four on the bottom. I should separate this bottom plate. One more screw to go there. Not so hard so far, is it? Not too bad. So we're going to go ahead and remove this one. And let's go ahead and pop this piece off as well. You can see a little more thermal paste down there. Quite a bit more. DJI likes to add a lot. Now we can remove this side panel. So to remove this side panel, you're going to want to pop this connector off right here. We're just going to grab with our fingernail and release this connector. That should come right off. And we're going to set this to the side. Now, without getting thermal paste all over the place, we're going to try to remove this from the side plate. Should just slide through, just kind of give it a gentle push through there. You might hear a snap when you remove it from here. Okay. Now, be very careful. That don't damage anything. I'm just going to set this to the side. So now you have decased the DVR and the VTX. And at this point, we could plug these two back in. Okay, so at this point, let's go ahead and decase the camera. There is a little grommet on the back where your cable comes out of the camera. Just go ahead and take a, a nice thin razor blade and stick in there and pull this grom out. Um, just get it out slightly and then maybe use your fingernail to go ahead and get it the rest of the way out. Next up, you want to grab your screwdriver again and we're going to remove this side bolt. And you're just going to remove it just like this. And we're going to set this one to the side as well and our little screw pile. We're going to get the other side. 
Again, try not to force these bolts too much because you might strip them. Just make sure your screwdriver is nice and flat. And apply a little bit of pressure. And I like these kind of screwdrivers because they have this little spinning top right here on the top of the screwdriver, which lets you put a little more pressure and spin it at the same time. So at this point, we're ready to go ahead and separate this. Just go ahead and pull it out like so. And we have a connector here that we're going to have to deal with. So we have a little bit of waterproofing right there. And what we may do is we may have to cut that, but we'll see. We'll see what happens here. We need to pull this front piece off. This is our camera shield. Gotta go ahead and pull this connector off separate the two. So now that just pretty much pops right out and you can go ahead and remove some of this glue. Once you get it all off, you can just kind of take it off with your fingers. It comes off pretty easily. You don't want to kind of poke around your razor blade too much around this cable so that we don't uh, have any problems there with severing this cable. And now I have that glue off. It only takes a, maybe a couple seconds to really loosen that glue up. And we should be able to kind of remove this outer piece of plastic here if that's, if that's in the way to get this harness through. Really, I didn't want to destroy this camera housing because I may put it back in there later. So it fits just through that hole. And now you have your camera cable out of the camera housing. Now at this point, you're ready to go ahead and remove the camera housing itself. And there are four screws here that we're going to remove. Okay, four tiny little M1 screws there. And this is a super, super sturdy plastic shroud around this camera. So don't be surprised if it takes a little bit of wiggling to get this out. Try not to put too much pressure on it. Now at this point, this is one of the most critical things during this decasing. This is pretty well locked into this camera shroud. So when you're trying to remove this, try not to uh, pry it out with anything. Don't pull on this PCB right here too hard. Um, what I had to do was kind of just kind of put a little bit of force on the side there and, and pull back at the same time, kind of pulling from this part right here and not the PCB right here. So um, you want to be careful there when you're removing that. And, you know, if you have to push it back down and snap it into place, do that a couple times, but eventually you're going to work it out of there. You just have to get it past these two points on both sides. And once you do that, you've got your camera decased. Now you want to do this first. You want to reconnect your camera cable to your camera before you put this back plate on. And at this point, I'm, I'm thinking it doesn't really matter whether um, this is upside down or not. We're just going to see how that plays out uh, once we get things seated. These screws come from the front here, so we're going to go ahead and grab this M1 2x3 pack. We've got four screws here to put in, so we're just going to start with this first one. And again, we're going to come from the front, and we're just going to lightly screw that into place. And you'll repeat that process for the next three spots. And there are a total of four screws that will go into this camera harness here. Your new decased harness. Just lightly screw things into place. And the next thing you want to do is, after you get all four of these screws on, you want to make sure that you put your camera cover on the front of this camera. Make sure that you don't destroy this camera the first time you crash. And now this one's all good. Again, just take your time here. Looks like this needs to be repositioned a little bit. I'm not sure that you really need Loctite here. Um, it's totally up to you. I feel like if you just get these screws nice and snug into place, they should be fine. 
plus loct loctite does damage plastic so if we have any loctite touch this plastic shroud it may damage this shroud so that's looking good there now we can move on to putting on our camera cover so now we can move on to placing the VTX and the DVR in the decased unit okay now it's getting fun go ahead and grab your square piece and you'll see that it says cable locker position here you might need a magnifying glass to see some of this stuff but uh, you're going to set it right on top just like that and what you're going to do next is you're going to have one of these long bars going across the bottom on this side where the camera cable comes out and this is the very front of the unit um, this is the left side the right side and when you put the vtx uh, or the uh, yeah, the VTX on top, you're going to have the antennas facing the back. So um, these are labeled as well. If you look super close, uh, on the schematic it says number three, and um, I believe number three is going to be the, um, the Naked O3 Air Unit uh, ANT-IPX locker. So that's exactly what this one is right here. And we're going to be using the hardware on that that is labeled number six, and that's M1 6 by 5 millimeter. Um, and there's six of those so we're going to look for that pack now that's number six and again that's m1 six by five it's this pack right here and these screws will go into the bottom two and hold our camera cable in place so go ahead and grab one of those screws and what i would do is i would just drive it through and make sure this top piece is on and again we're going to go from this side right here up through i'm going to make sure that's lined up with the next part there and I'm just going to go ahead and screw it in okay very gently I'm going to take the next screw and we're going to gently put that one into place as well so this one's now snug and now our camera cable is locked down and into place so at this point, you're really making some progress here. Go ahead and grab your VTX, and we're going to go ahead and reconnect this ribbon cable right here. Okay, and then we're going to set it down gently there, and you can see camera cable locker position, and that is where it comes up here. Now we're looking like we have a stack going. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and grab the same screws, and we're going to grab another one of those little locking bars and these bars are labeled naked 03 air unit antenna ipex locker and it seems like i have one extra in my kit and this one says air unit coaxial cable locker so um, you're going to have one on each side here from side to side here from front to back so i'm just going to go ahead and grab one put it on top and it's going to help hold things in place and grab one of those screws Gonna gently place it through. Just take your time with this build. This is really super cool. Okay. I'll grab another screw here and put it right through. Okay, and you're almost to the point where you have a decased DJI 03. How cool is this? It's looking super cool. We'll weigh this all after we're done with those antennas that they include. So now you have one on the other side. Don't forget to put your dipole antennas back on before you fire this thing up for the first time. Of course. Okay. And now down through here on this side. As well. Okay, that's looking good. This is looking super cool. So it's gonna screw that down into place. Just gently bring it to a firm position. So now you have decased your O3 and you're ready to put your antennas on. Okay, and so these are the antennas. Each one, it doesn't matter. They aren't labeled. You can put each one either on either side. So not a big deal there. Let's go ahead and gently pop those down. Kind of use your fingernail to press it down. Make sure it's nice and flat. And at this point, we have a decased O3. Thanks to Flywoo for giving us this kit to show you guys. Um, hopefully this tutorial helped you for your upgrade.
for your DJI-03. If you're going to build a decased version of one of these coming up on the channel, put your comment in the comments down below and let me know if you built one of these um, or if this tutorial helped you. Please join us on our Patreon and in our Discord as well and look forward to more flying events coming up. We have a brand new flying event called FPV West that you can check out in the video description down below. So if you want to fly with us, please do come out and fly with us on September 17th coming up. Guys, I appreciate you and please subscribe on the channel and I will see you on the next one. Take care.